Good day grade 10 and today's lesson we're going to be learning about dams. First of all we need to look at how dams are built. Now you don't need to know it very technically, all you need to know is that basically what they do is they build a really big wall but they <laughs> reinforce it and it ends up with the water being kept on the one side and then obviously the dry land on the other side and if you look here very carefully you can see that actually with this wall they've got sluice gates coming up so they're actually going to be using this for hydroelectric power but it is a big task to build dams. So you don't need to know the technicalities, you just need to understand that basically they are shoring up water in an area. So advantages of dams are the water is supplied for the villages, so there's lo lots of water supply for local villages. There is irrigation, so there's lots of irrigation for the farms and it stocks with fish. So a lot of people can either fish either for their livelihood or for fun. Some more advantages are the hydroelectric power, okay, your local jobs and your recreation. So over here you can see there is hydroelectric power um, which gives lots of jobs for the local people and then the recreation is interesting because it either can be the fact that you can use sports, water sports vehicles on the actual dam or over here you can see there's actually some tourism happening here. People are actually coming to see how the hydroelectric power works. Disadvantages and this is really important so we need to go through it nice and slowly. First of all the impacts downstream that you get disrupted water and you get sediment flow which reduces your biodiversity. So basically it changes the biodiversity in the ecosystems both downstream and upstream. The dam blocks the water so fish migration is an issue and it disrupts the water flow and it can cause structures to age which cause safety hazards. You get rotting vegetation if the dams aren't properly managed and maintained. You get rotting vegetation which releases greenhouse gases which then contributes to global warming. And then finally, sometimes, actually quite a lot of time, in order to build the dam they have to displace communities and they flood um, basically ecosystems to try and make up the water. Also, as is true for the Katsi Dam, um, they sometimes the water pressure from such a huge volume of water can actually cause um, earthquakes or cause cracks in the um, earth's surface. So people need to be moved, the source of income can be lost, farmlands can be flooded and burial grounds can be flooded which is actually incredibly important. Your ecosystem is ruined, especially downstream the wetlands can be destroyed and there can be silt collection. Silt is really just collection of salt and soil and that can be a problem because it actually ends up closing up the rivers and it causes the animals and the fish to die. Right, so thank you grade 10s. I hope that you've learnt all about dams and the pros and cons. Have a wonderful day.